All right, all you dirt bike shredders and petrol heads, hope you're really well, hope you've had a good week. Welcome to another Man in the Van, uh, brought to you by Whole Shop Motorhomes and Crossbox. Just doing this little intro to let you know, I kind of ballsed up on this one, uh, being the professional journalist that I am, I forgot to charge the GoPro. Um, so this one ends a bit abruptly, but we managed to get something out of it. Um, so sit back and enjoy uh, talking to Josh Gilbert and Charlie Putnam about their American adventure. Uh, and we'll be doing another one of these again soon. Next time, I'll remember to charge the bloody GoPro. Uh, thanks for the continual support. Uh, we really appreciate it. I appreciate it and we appreciate it Hub too. So um, enjoy, catch up soon. See you guys. Right, it's another Man in a Van special. Um, I say special because the new van, courtesy of uh, Whole Shop Motorhome, and he has one lovely captain's chair. But we got Josh sat on a little cardboard box. Oh, plus one. Little plus one. <laughs> when he gets a bit better. So in the new van, this is the first time we've had more than uh, one guest in. Um, so we've got, well, the guys have been on a, on a bit of a sortie to America. Josh Gilbert. Mr. Charlie Putnam. Right, that's why I got them in. So, <laughs> right, fellas, uh, living the American dream. What oh, was it? Well, yeah. Come on then, come on then. So, what was the first and foremost? What was the tracks like? You know, what, don't what? look too excited. Yeah, I mean, you've been to America. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you start. You take it. No, well, you, you don't <laughs> no you get, actually, you start because, oh, like, for you, no. you've never like obviously. Well, you've never. Oh, it was it. so cool. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, I, it was so good. It was like you watch it as a kid, didn't you? And yeah. Then, oh, it was just like we were sat there and you qualified well with Parler, didn't you? And I was pushing my bike to line and see Josh in between Dungey and Roxon and I was like, was you proper rabbit in the headlights? Cool. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> do you know what? It's real chilled out there when you go. Yeah. Like we was expecting it to be like almost military sort of operation, <laughs> but it was like you're at a club meeting, obviously a fast club. <laughs> <laughs> I think a uh, some club meeting. <laughs> yeah. You don't want your locals being that good. I think the atmosphere, they're quite friendly there. Even the yeah. organisers, they're, they're yeah. sort of, they speak to you or they, they want to help you or, yeah, just everyone seems to, I don't know, maybe just talk more, I yeah. suppose. It's just really just the, chilled the, out. Yeah. The, the vibe is just a bit different. And what about the fans and everything? Like, did you notice a, a different attitude from them? Not for you being British riders, but you obviously, did you stay overnight or did you go and like in a uh, hotel or whatever or were you were you airbnb what, a airbnb <laughs> it was actually so, quite quiet the saturdays wasn't yeah. it it was yeah, um, it was, yeah. wasn't that much going on like the, even the teams they sort of come in yeah oh, yeah friday that's the thing. So, yeah, so, that, <laughs> that threw us all yeah off. yeah the, the saturday racing but but they still have the amateur day on the su sunday don't yeah, they yeah so, i you, know on the Thursday and Friday. On the Thursday and Friday, so they yeah. still go before. Yeah, yeah. I thought they switched it around. No, That's so fun. we were watching them go, and you're like, we're going to be racing like an yeah. AA tomorrow, and the track is totally different by the, like, by the time Because they ramp the all the jumps back up, yeah. don't they? Yeah, like, yeah. And, and it's it works, work, and they just literally that. have the wooden posts in the floor for like the banners. Oh, well, that's and not talk just... about posts. <laughs> <laughs> we'll yeah, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute, yeah. But yeah, it just looks like plane almost but you you've raced jeep you've raced dmx before now yeah, yeah, yeah you've raced gp so how how the comparison regards of the whole you know the qualifying process and all that did you prefer that to the the way that the format with gps um because you had like because you have qualifying all on the same morning don't you yeah there's two qualifying 15 qualifying sessions and either one of them count. Yeah. So you get one Is it lap. aggregate? They put the two, or it's just your best the one best out of the two? It's just the best. Anyway. Uh, so it's all so in. The track's always yeah. faster, mostly, in one of yeah. the sessions. But we got told it was in the second one, so at Parlour we sort of cruised out the first one. And that was the faster session yeah. in the first one. It was like, fuck. Yeah. Oh, I was in the LCQ. It was so good. Obviously, we had Callum over there doing stuff for Dirt Hub. And then I saw the, the, the post coming in, from, especially like when you, when you <laughs> made it. <at> the <laughs> oh, I was like... Cause yeah. Honestly, I'll like hand on heart, was, was, was you expecting to get it, or were I, you just going to? Gonna... be honest, I went out there and I was like, if I get in one, I'll be over the moon. Yeah. And yeah, that first one, I got in last lap of the last chance, and it was like, oh, I was got back, I was panic revving the bike. I was, <laughs> <laughs> it was like I just won the AMA. He qualified 12 and like more quiet than me. <laughs> Of course, you love. Uh, we we joke around, but with the talent that you got, you throw knack knacks down and stuff at the MX Nationals and whatever. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, the jumps, the jumps, you must have been loving all that. Yeah, because the, they are different. The aren't fans they? out there are mental, aren't they? Yeah. They were, like in the first race of the parlor, 
I had a, I had a decent crash into the fences. Decent like, crash. So it's even crashes. rates as crashes, yeah. 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 I, I don't, think, I don't think they're quite up to mine though. No, yeah. no, we'll get no. to yours in a minute. It wasn't as good as that, but I ended up in the fence and I went to, and they're all clapping. I just because I, I was in 36. Like, yeah. I just got, up, I give it the arms and I, Wah! every lap I come around, it was like, He's I got was an winning. opportunity there, then, not he? So yeah, he knows. He knows so <laughs> you either get a whole shot, get a load of exposure, <laughs> or you do well, or you just throw it down the track regularly yeah. and get the crowd on board. But they're just like anything you do, they love. Yeah, they like, whoop, don't brilliant. they? Go mental, yeah. don't they? In England, everyone's like, oh, what's wrong about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's yeah, a it different. Good. It's a different vibe. Does you know? Did it kind of even at your stage of your career, both of you? Did it kind of blow you away a little bit? The magnitude of the setups. I know they have them at GPs, but those big rigs and stuff over there, and all the pro teams. It's just. They all bombing around in golf carts. Yeah, it's that's, all the bit. that's yeah, cool. The golf, the, the, the golf never, carts yeah. and the lorries are cool. <laughs> I uh, I don't I don't know if the setups as big as GP, GP no, though. No. Um, but even on press I, day we went there and they just out of gazebos. Yeah. And it was just real chilled out. Everything. Yeah. Like you go to a GP and it's like everything's segregated off and you're allowed in certain areas and stuff. But I think then it. it Gives them more time to be at home and train, and then they come to the race, do the race, and then go. It's there's yeah. a lot less time at the races. Whereas GP, you get there like on the Thursday, and you got to be there all weekend. Then you fly on the Monday, then you've only got like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at home, and then you're back to the track yeah. again. Whereas it gives you those extra like almost two days either side. So that format, for your opinion, was bit, like better for you because you can, I think you can so, just come yeah. in and do chaos yeah. on the day, wasn't it? But it was, oh, it's flat it out on cool. the day, yeah. And like yeah. the Sunday, you. You've got the Sunday still to chill out, watch, yeah. watch the GPs and stuff. It was, it was quite good. The buggy thing is uh, in the golf carts. It, it does, it does make a difference, though, doesn't it? It's just oh, the whole vibe with getting around and all that. It's, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have one, did we? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Working towards that, yeah, that's we... what you've got to do when you go back. You've got to get onto, yeah, get the team to make sure you get a little... We had a high, we had a 4K, eh? So, so how, did you, how did you do it then? So the, you, you worked for, what was the team? Remind me of the team, or the people that lend you the vehicle? Or how did um, all that work? Man, we, we, yeah. Basically, we have the, the lorry off of them, and uh, we, that's who supplies us with, like, well, discount off yeah. the bikes and stuff. That's, and parts they put in the lorry and stuff. So that was, yeah. Because you didn't really go over, I, I expected you guys, I know it's a tight schedule, but I was kind of expecting you to go a little bit earlier. But then to be fair, you did spend most of the winter in Florida, so you already yeah. had like a... Yeah, and, and also because yeah, we've got to do the British Championship as yeah, well, it so yeah. it's, it's kind of, We're that leaves it tight. Canada Heights, yeah. yeah, we literally, I, well I didn't go home after Canada Heights, we went back to Charlie, stayed yeah. there and then Monday morning we was up Legit again. Result, like, full I mean, patch, exactly. A couple of weeks of me and he's just gone and pulled it today. So, so. <laughs> you know, it, it didn't come to, as a surprise to me, maybe it did to you, I don't know, or certainly, uh, uh, you know, I, you know, I kind of thought that you'd be quite, quite up there. So you must have been pleased with how it went from, you know, particularly round one. Yeah, when we was, we, it was funny, we was constantly on the way over like, oh, what do you reckon? Like, because yeah, you don't have no clue over yeah. there, do you? It's, um, We've never done it, never been yeah, over there. Just so. sat in the airport, we like, what do you reckon? Where do you reckon yeah. we get there? And I would have been like, I was being top 20 to start with. I, was, I would be happy with that. And then we went to press day on the Tuesday, and then we went um, Glen Ellen on the Wednesday. And you look at some of the names, like as you do, you sort of see some, yeah. some of the shirts, and you're like, oh, where did they come? And then you look at last year's results, and you're like, I'm quicker than him, I'm quicker than him, oh, he's, I'm a little bit off of him, and it was like... We had a bit more of an idea. Yeah, we, yeah. We was we like had, on Instagram that yeah, night, like, oh, we yeah. qualify for this one, they got there in that one. <laughs> so, going into the weekend, I was sort of, my expectations went up a little bit to like top 15, but yeah, a 12th... Uh, yeah, it was great, seeing the results come in. What wasn't so great was obviously, you know, the crash the crash at Hangtown. Oh, you've probably it was got, a decent you've one. You got more exposure out of that. Yeah, you did, that. You were the race results. That, Just yeah. going back quickly to Ramo, it was quite good obviously listening to like Weege and the others going like, you know, Gilbert. Who's, follow, Gil Gilbert. Who's this Gilbert? Yeah, this yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> kind of name cropping up there. They kind of probably didn't, you know, they know a lot of the top end GP riders. I'm not saying Weege didn't know because he probably did his research a bit. Well, he but he did, but he did sound pretty surprised. Like, we don't know much about this, this yeah, it, Gilbert it, it, guy. Yeah, it was quite good actually. I think in uh, before the first motor after qualifying, so I qualified 13th, I think it was at Park. Yeah. And I pushed my line and like a uh, push bike and just put it in, in the line. And I could see some of like even the mechanics that were looking uh, at like the bike just, and trying to look, look yeah. at my number like. Because you kind of came in under the radar a bit because of the whole thing, you know, you had obviously Dungey coming back, you had Corelli there, so there was so much media attention on, on them lot, as in new riders to the series, that you, you know, like they probably wouldn't have gone, oh, it was this English 
I think I think there was, was a few. This, but this Cornish yeah, 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 yeah. Kind yeah, of like, him. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of people since then. It's actually uh, it's been quite nice because yeah, I went in sort of over there. Yeah. And no one had a clue, and then after the first round, like there was a lot of people sort of. Even the yeah. support from home though was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Like that yeah. first round we had hundreds, yeah. even me like yeah. just got into the main and we had oh, like, so many messages like was well done boys and stuff and it was it was quality. I was pumped made up for you when I realised that you got into the main as well. I thought that was a real cool first attempt. But no, you did so, you smash that first one. Yeah. Second but the, one. the the crash then, <laughs> so I mean I went from the high <laughs> to the low. Well the classic. <laughs> I, I quickly saw it, you know, it came up on Instagram and I kind of, but it wasn't until I saw a, a video, slow -mo. the, the slow-mo one, Yeah. you're like, oh, that's not easy. You feel it, don't you? That's it? naughty. Really I mean, go. you kind of got lucky there, didn't you, with that one. But then my timer, I said we'd only do 10 minutes. The reason I said I'd only do 10 minutes uh, is because, A, I, I'm not a very good journalist. And I didn't charge the GoPro. <laughs> so I was worried about that. Well, that went quick. The fuel cost, <laughs> that, 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 went, that, went, that went quick. <laughs> So we better because I'm not sure uh, we haven't much battery. But let's very quickly talk about uh, like that then. So I mean, you got genuinely lucky with that. I did very. Because uh, I, mean, I mean, when you see it in slow mo, it's bad. Yeah, I. That's, it all happened so yeah. fast. It just was like whoa. Next minute, I was on the deck, and then yeah, I did. I well, in yeah. that post, it happened so fast. I don't really remember yeah. it, but um, yeah, I luckily I was just a bit stiff. So you, um, yeah, yeah, well, not surprised. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, was... you've gone over there in two rounds, and effectively, you've helped the AMA improve their safety. Yeah. So you I know, the the ambassador the for the, you know, yeah. there you go. Fifty cars, the waiting zone will close in five minutes. That's so, waiting. That's zone. That's all two fifty. This is getting to the I've got to go and watch that. See, we're always on the go. We're always on the go. Um, but overall, then the experience was amazing. When are you oh, going back? Unbelievable. When are you going back? Because don't or, tell me you're not, because you absolutely August, are. Yeah. What? We'll do the last four by the sounds of it. Oh, rad. Yeah, so it's uh, Unadilla, start Buds, of August, isn't it? Yeah, Unadilla, Buds Creek, Iron you Man. You start sticking Parler. it down there, you know, like getting proper results. You know, you might have to start tapping Mark Chamberlain up for a spot on the net, you know. Well, Shame you, you couldn't ride that, Redbud, innit? That, yeah, I know. Well, I've been yeah. on the case. Have you? I, I don't. I, that's get, only, some, <laughs> get some practice in. It's only two weeks away, so I'm not sure if we're going oh, or not. Oh, <laughs> hold on. It would be good, though, would it? Yes. Definitely got to be one of the names. I mean, I'm fortunate to get out there a few times, but I genuinely was thinking. Don't get me wrong. Love my gig at the MX Nationals and all that, but I was I was there at the MX Nationals thinking. Mm. Oh, I don't especially know when yeah. Swanee, yeah, especially yeah, when yeah. Swanee <laughs> pissed off and yeah, I was like, like, oh, oh worse, it? we didn't it. even know he was good. I turned no. around, and he's like, yeah, what are you? I was like, yeah. oh, they're right. <laughs> no, <laughs> good fair old boy. play, fair play. <laughs> well, look, we follow it with a lot of interest. Um, I thought you two did great. It was it was brilliant to see you out there. So good on you and the team for doing it. But now you've got to go and get ready for a, for a British. Yeah. Well, this morning's gone all right. But yeah, not quite the same though, is it? No, this it's is a little bit, and that's not although, knocking, although, that is not knocking <laughs> the Rebo British Championship or the MX Nationals, but when you've been racing AMA Nationals and you come back, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a thumb <laughs> a down, little bit. Although, last week, it's nice to actually go on the track and be able to breathe. Yeah. The, the <laughs> oh, the altitude, yeah, altitude how was that? Altitude at Thunder yeah. Bay was... And some oh. time on the track. Was it? Was it really? Is it really, yeah. really nice? First gear starts, and I was first in a couple of the turns. Yeah. It's, um, but what I, about on the body? You know, oh, it, it kills you. Does it? You really <laughs> yeah, have three laps, and you're like, you, you're breathing, but it doesn't feel like it's doing. Because no. when you hear them talk about, it, you think, is it really that bad? That's what they we thought as well. Yeah. Even well, like we were at the hotel, and it was like, oh, it's not too bad. I don't know what no. about. There's not as many high points in Cornwall, is there? Apparently, it's my mate was saying this week. It's one and a half of Ben Nevis. That's yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, what is it, like, it's like eight, is it eight? 6,000 like, feet it was. Yeah, it's just, just like over. a mile and a half above sea level. Well, you were doing yeah. push-ups on your roof at home to get the altitude, didn't <laughs> <aren't> you? <laughs> Going up there, adjust, <laughs> adjusting his aerial. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <A> Rocky style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, well, look, there's nowhere to do it. Um, we're on, we're on borrowed time here because you've got to go and get ready. Guys, thanks for coming in. Uh, we're much. going to follow them. You heard it here. You heard it here. They're going to go and do more. So that's bang on. Go and get ready. Good luck today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie was really nervous about this. I don't. Oh, I just don't get it. From the AMA. You know, if you're going to be an AMA superstar, you have to start getting used to media. 